So Darnell, can you tell us what Apostrophe is doing um, to create change in your little circle as well as in the industry in general? Yeah, sure, definitely. So um, Apostrophe started a mentorship program. And for those who aren't sure what Apostrophe is, it's a uh, photo and director and stylist management agency. Uh, we represent 22 artists and we work in the commercial field of our industry. And when a lot of the conversation, I mean, it's, it's a conversation that's been had for so long but when it really picked up this year you know we put our heads together to try to figure out something some way that we can not only give back to the greater good of you know BIPOC artists but especially to make our industry aware that there are these really talented artists that are shooting the same beautiful work as their white counterparts so a few of the agents and I came together to come up with AMP, which is our apostrophe mentorship program. Uh, we sent out a call for about, uh, we had like 100 to 300 people uh, sign up for the program. And we chose 12 of our strongest mentees that we saw in this installment that we're doing. And we are just wrapping up our 11 week course uh, of this mentorship program. And it's not too, really teach these up and coming artists, you know, the talent because they already know how to shoot. They already take these really beautiful photos. They're already starting to grow a client base. We wanted to teach them the business acumen of what it is to be a photographer from everything from negotiating your rates to uh, talking about usages to even knowing what your brand identity and brand attributes are and see how you align with other clients. We took the next step that as a black, photographer growing up myself, I've never had really anyone tell me. I had to immerse myself into the agency world to figure out all of that. So to be able to bring our agent minds, our creative minds, our artists, and other art buyers to be involved with this and actually teach the mentees that are already starting on the road to success with their art, how it works and how it makes it such a more streamlined word flow, workflow for them. So it's, it, was, it was our goal to make sure that, you know, when artists of color are able to pitch jobs or step into the room or promote themselves, they can do it with this ease and this confidence that I'm just as good as the white people that you hire. That's great. Oh my gosh, I'm so jelly. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 such a great program and every every week sitting on those sitting in those classes we always think they're going to be an hour long but the information that we share is so robust and it's so well thought and so deep and i i mean even the the classes when we got to pair up the mentees with their photographers was just incredible because we 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 chose it based on personality as well as the work that they do. And they just, every, sing, every single one of them mesh so well. And I love, you know, following up with each mentee, just talking to them about new projects they shot. And they're like, oh yeah, I shared it with my mentor also. And we're going through the edit. So it's just like hearing these creative minds come together to just elevate their work ethic. is just, it's, it's, it really is the most unbelievable feeling I've ever had. <laughs> um, have you, do you have a sense as to um, the nuggets of information that has been more meaningful to them? Have you um, done a review or uh, have been able to figure out what have been the biggest takeaway from the program? For oh, the mentees? It's, it's so funny because uh, the emails that I get are always, it's after every class, you know, I follow up with the class, um, presentation so they have access to it whenever they need to and every single time it's always like that was the craziest class I never knew that's how I would have to go about that and it, it again it's it's one of those things that I guess in our heads because we've worked in it for so long some things are common sense to us but then you're like oh 
no one really knows to uh, invoice their camera <laughs> when they're billing a client or no one really knows like the brand, no one ever looks at the brand attributes of other brands they want to work with. They just see it visually and think they want to shoot for them, but they never think of, do I actually align with that brand? And if I want to, how do I make my work fit that way? So it, I, I think every single nugget they get, they're beyond appreciative of it. And they always will even talk to us about it the next week about how they used it for a pitch or how they are working on a project. And they'll even kind of circle back around with us and ask particular questions based on a class that we did teach, uh, like go, go upon. So I, I, it's, it's hard to really pinpoint a particular nugget because I think every single week they're just gaining new information that's really helping their careers grow. If I had to choose a favorite nugget, I would just say the brand, the uh, your brand identity because I'm a visual brand manager. So telling people how to like build their own PDFs and how to build their treatments and how to, you know, let the let the client know that they're feeling loved through their treatments, but still having a part of the artist show themselves and their branding within that treatment. I thought that was my personal favorite nugget to give out. <laughs> Well, that's so important as well, because you have to be able to communicate who you are at every turn. And the treatment is one of the best ways for you to do that. Exactly. Um, um, the treatment, the treatment is, the treatment is, uh, it, 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 even with that, like they knew about pitching, they knew about treatments, but when they showed examples, some of them who've done treatments, when they showed examples, and then they saw like what we do for hours to see their to see their response to that when we gave them that as a homework assignment is to work on your branding and build out a treatment for uh, an upcoming magazine, digital magazine that we're putting out. I was floored. I was like, they took something that we did and they just blew it out of the water with this beautiful treatment, the way they presented the work, the way they presented how they were going to shoot the work. It was just, it's, it's, it's so great seeing how someone evolves from when you first meet them up until like even 11 weeks later. <laughs> There's the old adage, you don't know what you don't know. And it seems that this is a beautiful um, example of that. But can you tell me a little bit about now that you've gone through the eight, um, the 11 week course, is it is, as the course, is it done? Is it finished? Um, we have one more. I think we have one more uh, course and it's, this one is going to be, we, we had everyone build um, a portfolio presentation for as if like now we're in the, uh, the age where a lot of our portfolio reviews are virtual reviews. Can't go and have coffee and meetings with people. So we have coffee and Zoom here. So that last class we're doing is supposed to be their PDF presentation of how they would uh, present it to clients. We're going to give them feedback on that as well as the artists, the mentors themselves, like the photographer mentors will be giving the feedback. And then we'll be setting them up with actual uh, art buyers and different brands to have them sit with their uh, portfolio and do the review with them realistically. <laughs> like, you know, like, so it's, that's, that's the, that's the final boss of this game <laughs> is like the, just how to present yourself and how to get your clients really amped on your work. Well, that's so inspiring because not only did you bring them in to teach them some of the things that um, they need to know to survive and to thrive in the industry, but you are also giving them a pathway to gaining jobs. Um, and how did you, did you have that in mind when you first um, sketched out the program or did you just about the, the training? Um, that was the biggest goal. Apostrophe has such a uh, vast contact base. So many people reached out. When we even announced the program, there were so many people that reached out asking how they can be a part of it. And this is our first year doing it. We're going to be doing this uh, twice a year, but this is our first uh, class. And we were overwhelmed by the response. So we, it, we didn't have a lack of people to choose from. And we went with people that we knew were clients that were always looking for new talent, always looking to see how they can just spice up their imagery. And we, with that in mind, that helped us make these courses a lot, it, it made, made making the course, courses a lot more fluid. And that, our, it, our goal worked. 
um, I think. And once they, once we, we've already made connects with certain artists and clients, um, someone had a, a really great meeting with Wyden um, just based on us introducing them during an art buyer meeting. Like when the art buyers talked on one of the classes, they met, uh, he followed up with her on Instagram. They loved his work and wound up having a meeting with Wyden and Kennedy. And that the, these are the stepping stones that we think help just push them for, push each mentee forward. And we're hoping that it not only educates clients more on just the diversity of the art artists out there, but to have them actually search to, to search instead of feeling like they could use the same three, four or five people they always use, especially if they're white people, it has them actually have to search for who's out there and being able to just, you know, realize that this person not only is a person of color, but this person is creating just top tier work. They're worth hiring. It's, and it also helps as a confidence booster, I think, as well. You know, your work is great. What, why can't you showcase it? Why can't you have the avenues to showcase it? Here are the building blocks to help you promote your work. Let's go from there. So since we are doing the webinar for the book, I'll just then go ahead and ask, um, How can how can the photo industry support the work that Apostrophe is doing right now, particularly in in relation to AMP? So you know, AMP. We're going to um, offer this program twice a year. I'm assuming it takes a lot of people power to to get it together and to run the program. Um, how are you um, thinking about bringing in outside support or are you thinking about bringing outside support to help the program um, just reach new heights? Yeah, I, I, I was going to say that I would love to implore other agencies to do the same thing. I, we, originally, we wanted to, you know, s start this foundation, see how it goes and then share our lesson plans with other agencies. But then we realized like our what we're teaching is so also exclusive to apostrophe. Like it's, it's, it's the way that we operate and other agencies have other ways of operating. So the, the only other thing that I could do to encourage at least the agencies is to implore a great mentorship program and not just for talent. Cause again, talent, talent is something that a lot of artists have. A lot of artists don't know the business acumen. They're so, Think of like all the things that you were doing when you were coming up as a photographer up until you started getting the jobs. And every time you got a job, you had to learn each time you were on set. You have these opportunities where you can get the crash course in one way. And when you start going to work, you'll be able to just navigate it just a little bit easier. I want to have our industry just aware that there are there's talent out there that can come to the table with incredible work. I would love to involve more ad agencies. I would love to involve more editorial uh, magazines and more brands to come and talk to some of our mentees to discuss how they look for artists, how they align with other artists, um, just, to, just to make people aware. I think, make, I think awareness is important and the more that you're aware of what's out there, the more you're inclined to search for greatness. That was, that was amazing. I wish I took part of this program. I mean, the thing is, you really don't know what you don't know. And I have to say that I came to the industry from another field. And yes, I had like the professional know-how in that field. And so I knew how to put together treatment only because I've been putting together um, uh, different grant. Um, oh, you're a grant writer. I'm jealous. <laughs> I used to do. Yes. I, so I used to do grant writing and I used to do uh, put together proposals. So it's not too different than how to put together a treatment. A treatment However, yeah. there are all of the other things that, um, you don't know about until you come in, you know, in terms of how do you, how do you put, to, how do you put together, um, 
a treatment that is beyond the proposal? How do you mm-hmm. sell yourself? How do you research a brand and what they stand for and what they value to, as you mentioned, to know whether or not you actually want to work with them? Yeah. Um, all of those things are so important to learn. And let's not talk about assets. And- yeah, yeah, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> well, the asset, like to me, like, like with things like asset management, I think that's something you leave to the photographer. I've worked with, uh, I, before working in uh, agency, the agency field, I worked with a few photographers on helping them kind of get their archive back in check. And I just remember every time we started and they gave me those drives, it's just like, no, <laughs> like, no, no keywords, no dates, like just have to ask them back, hey, what projects this for? So it's, it, I do, if, if I had to talk to people on the side, I could tell just based on certain things that they send me that their archive might be a little wonky, but like, yeah, that's, that, that's actually a good idea of something to add into one of those classes is asset management. Mm-hmm. Cause that's, that's a whole other, uh, it's a whole yes. other force. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it's, it's also cool. I, I, I wish I added this as well. Uh, in the mentorship program, um, w- not only did, you know, we add the element and the feel of what it'll be like having these portfolio reviews with clients, but we also gave them tools to be able to kickstart their career. We gave them a year's, uh, a year subscription to the creative suite for Adobe. So like some artists didn't even have Photoshop or InDesign. They're making things in Keynote and like another, I forget the other program uh for photography but yeah so to have the creative suite is super awesome to have access to all of these different tools that can help you grow as a photographer like to me photoshop and lightroom aren't the only things that you could use as a photographer you could utilize premiere and after effects and design is the greatest invention ever <laughs> but um we gave them a uh we gave them also a year subscription to a uh financial crm uh where they'll be able to basically run their books and they have support to help them build the books up as well and they have the never-ending support of apostrophe um they have the never-ending support of the photographers and it's just going to be a relationship that lasts forever every single time we throw this class and i'm just looking forward i'm already looking forward to the next class yeah because you'll have one cohort after the other and they'll also be able to draw upon the experience of the past people who've gone through the program exactly. um well it's a beautiful thing it's a beautiful it, it, thing that you've put together thank you it, it fits with our with our with apostrophes brand attributes which are community solution and innovation and our we kelly is a big advocate of just bringing everyone together artists agents art buyers, advertisers, everything. And I'm, I love that vibe. It's like, yeah, we're all competitive in ways, but we're also all a unified sector of people striving to make beautiful work, right? So it's like, why not build that and keep us all educated instead of keeping everyone in the dark? And I, I, I live by that every day, working here, uh, helping the mentees, talking to my friends, talking to acquaintances it's it's just trying to build a community and just keep learning every day it's nice to hear what i mean i've always been a fan of apostrophe and i've I've always like seen gone on to see what the different artists are doing but it's nice to get the insider view as to um amp and not only the 11 week program, but all of the other boons, the bonuses that come along with it, because you're right. It can't just be about, okay, now you know how to do all of these things and we're giving you, um, putting you in touch with people who could potentially hire you, but yet they don't have Lightroom <laughs> <laughs> or QuickBooks <laughs> yeah, you need the, you need <laughs> or the, something you need, like that. You need the resources. And, and that's one thing. I've learned, I learned like really early into this industry is like when I starting as a photographer, I didn't know all these resources that you would need to be a successful business. I only figured, oh, I need a camera lights and just to be good with it, like the money will come, but then you have the people that will lowball you. You have the people that will mess around with your usages. You have all of these different 
legal things that come your way where you're just so excited to shoot photos that you actually miss out on the opportunity to be a successful business person. So I, I think, I, 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 like I said earlier, this is a resource that I, I wish I had growing up. I had to learn through working in it, <laughs> you know, and I, I think it's, it's so incredible that everyone could follow their successful their successes and their dreams through the information that they receive to get the resources that they need well apa has a lot of up and coming photographers and certainly i hope that next time the program comes around that you'll reach out to us so that we can send the information out to see if some of our folks could um participate in your program that would be incredible yeah like we we were sending it to everyone left and right. So yeah, it, I, I can't wait. I really can't wait. I think we're doing the next classes in February, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, I'll definitely have you on the mailing list for that for sure. That would be great. Um, one of the things that we talk about both in the Chicago chapter um, and in APA the national is about building the, um, the pipeline. Mm -hmm. But not just talking about it superficially, but um, helping photographers, um, up and coming photographers of color um, have the skills, the know how and um, and also the helping them on the technical side too, um, and the software side and helping them with getting mentors and getting those meetings. Those things were all really, really important. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, this is, this is perfect. This is like a, a perfect solution. You know, sometimes you ask a question yeah. and all of a sudden the answer comes and comes. Yeah. That's, that, that's what it, it. yeah. That, that's what it felt like. I think when the idea came, I, I, I used to teach a mentorship, pro, a photo mentorship program for, I don't know if you ever heard of stoked. No, it's like a, they're like a New York based uh, program. That's for, urban kids that want to do uh i hate using the term extreme sports but like snowboarding skateboarding surfing and all of those different elements and uh for two or three years i mentored like kids on photography but photographing the type of uh extreme sports that they want to do so photographing biking how to photograph skateboarding and we worked with other photographers on that to do kind of the same thing but it was more so to teach them the talent aspect like the how to see the like how to catch it, how to use your eye to catch these incredible photos. So it, it, it felt like one of those things, like when the opportunity arose, I was like, that, that's a given, like teaching, educating other people on success, on how to be successful in this field. It's, it's, it's a hard, I feel like it's a hard field to even break through in general. So to be able to have a one up over a lot of the people like really trying to break through, I think is, is extremely helpful. And I, I think it's, um, we always assume that success is a thing that just happens to you. You don't, the, you don't always learn that it's something that you have to work at yeah. um, and that it doesn't happen overnight, but it's all these small little battles that you win that all of a sudden, there you are. Um, yeah, it's like, I, 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 it took a long time to learn this, but I feel like uh, and, and I think it's from being a designer now. Like I, I'm from, I'm not from a designer background. It's only like something I've been doing for like five, six, seven years maybe. But something I took away from that that I put towards like even the photo industry is being solutions based. Like every, it's cool that you're good at what you do, but when you're talking to a client, they want to know how you're going to solve their visual conundrum. How can you bring? What What are you going to do to bring their imagery? up to a whole other level so it's it's learning to be solutions based with your art is something that i think is so important to to being successful to me that's success it's like it's not about money or having constant jobs is being able to provide the solution to get what your client needs for a successful shoot the other thing i'm curious about is the genesis of the idea Mm -hmm. I mean, I know that there were so many things I knew I needed to change in my life um, since May, you know, with the death of George Floyd. And, but, it, it, but it's funny, like, it's not the death of George Floyd. I've been feeling this way for years, but it's mm -hmm. suddenly his death was a, wave, was a wake up call. Um, and Breonna Taylor's death was just a wake up call. It was, 
And I knew I had to change and I knew how to um, create the change I wanted to see in my community and in the photo community, honestly. Um, and um, so I'm, I'm curious as to how the conversation came about for, to start the program. Yeah. Um, well, it's the same as you saying, uh, you know, we've, it's, it's thoughts that I've had for a really long time as a black artist, as a black person in the industry, talking to friends, talking to other artists about it. But I, I feel like that time that when like at Rafter George Floyd, I feel like when people were bringing this into light a lot more frequently, it almost gave, it, it almost felt like getting a courage to speak up about it. I like when you, when I reflect a lot about last year, the year before, I, w I would wonder if sometimes not bringing it up super vocally is some sort of suppression that we've had for so long about it. So to have someone, to have people finally be vocal about it, I think is what kind of helped push that forward, push that idea for us, for me especially, to put it forward and come up with the idea. Uh, even when I started Apostrophe two years ago, I knew after the first year of being there, after I learned everything I needed to learn, I'd be like, hey, we need to get black people on this roster. <laughs> like, like it's it's cool that you advocate for women and like you are you pride yourselves in being women owned and et cetera, but like let's get a black woman or like let's get a black person on this roster. Like we need that. And then it, it was it's it sucks because I feel like the past year, even before all of this, I was reaching out to certain artists that I liked. And they're always represented. And it, it was really heartbreaking because it's just like, I've had this conversation with this person. I don't know what I'm doing, like why it's not working the way I want it to. But it, it, I feel like stars align. And I got, I think during all of that, I got to see so many other different artists. Like people were putting out those lists and I got to just see so many other artists that are outside of my normal Instagram who's getting tagged feed. So to just like, find other artists to talk to you, to learn more about, to compare experiences that we've had as black artists in the industry. It just felt, it just changed my drive and my whole approach to how I want to go through this career that I'm in at the moment. And it's just made me feel like, you know, I've, I've spent 15 years around white artists and learning about how to look at art as a white artist and how to create art as a white artist. But we have a voice as well and we have a perception and we have a flavor to things as well. And why can't I incorporate a world that I know outside of my industry within my industry to mm -hmm. just mix it up? So that was, that, that was my Genesis moment was the courage to be able to speak up about it because of having the inspiration or the having from having the inspiration of others speaking up about it. That was mine. <laughs> well, I'm glad you did because so many people are going to benefit from what you're doing. And, but not only so many people, but um, it, it's kind of it, the compound knowledge, you know, we have compound interest, but the fact that when a person of color um, learns more, they tend to hire other people of color and then by hiring other people of color, they provide um, a living wage for those people. And then those people then get more experience and then it grows, it grows, it grows, it grows. So mm -hmm. it just starts there and then it starts with 11 people. Um, and then it just gets it's bigger gross. and wider. And I'm here, I'm here for it. <laughs> like, I'm here for it. I, I, I just, I, I know that there is beyond incredible talent out there and they shouldn't uh, to me no one should have to struggle to get known when they have the same talent and business drive as, as, a, white person. Pretty, as a white person yeah, yeah it's it's not it, it just it's not even a it's not fair thing it's just not right <laughs> like well, but thank you so much for chatting welcome me uh follow up through email um and we'll let you know how we incorporate thank you, Martin. All right. I'm thank totally you down. so much darnell have a good one bye, bye.